Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to start talking about a topic called related rates. Here's the big idea. In related rates problems, we'll analyze scenarios that have interconnected rates with respect to time. We'll then use the given information and our awesome calculus skills to solve for a specific rate. Before we jump in to a specific related rate scenario, we need to understand the technique of differentiating with respect to time. Suppose we have the equation a equals pi r squared, the equation for finding the area of a circle. We can think of each variable in this equation as a separate function with respect to time. We'll see how this connects to a real scenario a little later. For now, let's think of this as a of t equals pi r of t squared. Now let's take the derivative of each side with respect to t. For simplicity of notation, I've removed the t from the a and the r functions. Taking the derivative of the left side gives us dA dt. Taking the derivative of the right gives us 2 pi r times dr dt because of the chain rule. We'll be using this technique of differentiating with respect to time in all of our related rates example problems. And this brings us to classic example number one, the falling ladder problem. A 12-foot ladder is leaning against a wall. The bottom of the ladder slips away from the wall at a rate of 2 feet per second. What is the velocity of the top of the ladder when the bottom of the ladder is four feet from the wall. Okay, the first thing you want to do in a related rates problem is read the problem and then read it again, and then draw a diagram. Here we have a diagram of a ladder leaning against a wall. The bottom of the ladder is moving away from the wall at a rate of two feet per second. We'll call this dx dt because the bottom of the ladder is moving in the x direction. The top of the ladder moves down in the y direction, so we'll call its rate dy dt. Our goal is to find dy dt when the bottom of the ladder is 4 feet from the wall. In other words, when x equals 4. Next, we need to come up with an equation that relates the variables. Here we can see that x, y, and 12 can be related together by the Pythagorean theorem x squared plus y squared equals 12 squared. Next, we'll take the derivative of the entire equation with respect to t. This gives us 2x times dx dt plus 2y times dy dt equals 0. Remember that 12 squared is a constant and its derivative is 0. Then we'll solve for dy dt because that's what we're looking for. And that gives us negative x dx dt over y. At this stage, we can plug in. We know x equals 4 and dx dt equals 2, but we need to find y. To do this, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. We can plug in 4 for x and solve for y. This gives us 4 squared plus y squared equals 144, and that means y equals the square root of 128. Now, we'll completely solve for dy dt and this is negative 4 times 2 divided by the square root of 128. And the decimal approximation is negative 0.707 feet per second. Note that the sign is negative because the top of the ladder is falling down in the negative direction. Note that the units are feet per second because we solved for a rate dy dt. Let's do a unit analysis of the dy dt equation x is feet, y is also feet, and dx dt is feet per second. That means dy dt will end up being feet per second. We can generalize from this example problem and create a general related rates recipe. Step one, read the problem and draw a diagram. Step two, determine what you are looking for. Step three, write an equation that relates the variables. Step four, Take the derivative with respect to t. Step five, plug in values and solve for the unknowns. Let's do another problem. Classic example two, the expanding circle problem. The radius of a circle is increasing at a constant rate of 0.5 centimeters per second. When the radius of the circle is 15 centimeters, at what rate is the area of the circle changing? Step one, we read the problem, now we'll draw a diagram. 
Step 2. We need to determine what we're looking for. We need to find dA dt when r equals 15. Step 3. Let's write an equation that relates the variables. In this case, it will be a equals pi r squared. Step 4. We'll take the derivative of this equation with respect to time. Now remember, at the beginning of this video, we already took the derivative of this equation and we got dA dt equals 2 pi r times dr dt. We know dr dt equals 0.5 centimeters per second, and we want to find dA dt when r equals 15. So we can plug in these values. dA dt equals 2 pi times 15 centimeters times 0.5 centimeters per second. We can simplify this and we get dA dt equals 15 pi centimeters squared per second. What this means is that at the instant when the radius is 15, the area of the circle is increasing at a rate of 15 pi centimeters squared per second. We got it! In my experience, related rates problems take some getting used to. We'll look at a variety of examples in future videos. For now, keep on practicing! And that's how you rock calculus!